Yeah. Give me that controller. Honestly, the venison sounds incredible right now. <laughs> Why? Because it's the Wild West right now. No, well, we're we drinking just, whiskey. We just killed some deer. Yeah. If only you could just, like, order venison like that. Well, Josh, go get your rifle. That's our no. new business idea. <laughs> <laughs> to go with venison. venison. Download our app. <laughs> The new chamber effects, uh, venison. <laughs> venison anytime, anywhere, I swear. We're just, it, no more beer, it's just cups of venison. Just... <laughs> oh man, back, okay, so, uh, freshman year at Clarkson, you could, uh, walk out with a drink or a fruit, or like both, whatever you, a drink and a fruit. <laughs> a combination. Of but, uh, so every, every time I left, like, the dining hall, it was, like, all you could eat, but you could only walk out with a drink or fruit. So like every time we left the dining hall, I would stuff my cup with a whole bunch of meat and walk out with it. Meat cup. Yeah. It was delicious and awful at the same time. Well, Tyler, the problem is you can't have also your drink in with the meat. <laughs> or, orange soda pork. <laughs> Okay. Drinking whiskey from the bottle, not drinking pepper. Fuck you. No, it's a terrible song. Only fucking Kid Rock can take two fucking good songs and make a real shitty song out of it. Fuck him. And it, like, growing up, it was like, all right, this is kind of cool. He's like running for, like, governor or some shit. Yeah, well, fuck him, too. For governor Kid Rock and fucking <laughs> musician Kid Rock. Governor Rock. Both suck. Can I help a little? Set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. See, the thing is, I feel like this is going to be a lot easier in video game than it would be in real life. Yes. But also, you have to do it in video game now, so maybe it's not. I mean, it's just uncoiling cable. If this was like three years ago, it would be like, just walk over there. Yeah. Which I guess is what you're doing, but like... It's more dramatic. Yeah, there's there's very key difference. I go through the whole animation. This is a terrible video game to let's play. That's <laughs> basically what I'm getting. I at. mean, it, it becomes more of a thing when you're allowed to do whatever you want. Yeah. It gets a lot less linear. Like, this was actually the first open world experience that I actually thought, like, it has things in the open world to do. And I actually, there were story missions that I was actually, like, not getting to because I was getting distracted. I'm a very linear, I'm a very tunnel visioned. Oh, video no, gamer. I'm the opposite. So, like, for me to get fucking distracted in this game, there's there's a lot. The first time I played Skyrim, I jumped in a river and literally chased butterflies, like as I was like floating down the river, <laughs> and it was magical. No, I'm very much like, what do I do? Where do I go? How do I save this world? So like, when there's things that that slow me down from doing that. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan, all of you. No mistakes. For the damn plan. What's going on? All we have to do right. is blow up the damn train, <laughs> CJ. Everything okay? <laughs> Why didn't CJ think of this? Okay. Yeah. Dynamite existed back in 2011 when that game took place. Oh, it, oh, it took place in 2011. It definitely existed way before that. Well, like, yeah, Dynamite existed, but no, 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 no. The game, the game came out way before 2011. I think I was in middle school when that game came out. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that makes. I remember my parents being like, you can go over to your cousin's house, but don't play that Grand Theft Auto game with him. What am I doing? Uh, I don't know. I can Why are you doing this, Arthur? Just pull up your bandana. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I had to take my handkerchief. Yeah, that way they don't recognize you. I'm still unsure if this is like a mechanic that works in the game. You all know what damn box damn boxes here we go oh you shit me you have got to be kidding me where did you find that more who said it was fine my fault you're pathetic you know that get distracted for the beer bed Oh, get him, get him, get him! This is actually genuinely frustrating. But that, that ledge was very convenient. Yeah. But no, it, we, uh, lost, we lost Javier. Oh, 
Come on, Lenny. Alright, good. I'm glad that he made it. Let's go slow this thing down. There you go. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. Oh, shit. Nice. Yeah, he's killing everyone on the train. Take his shit up. Oh, yeah, obviously. I like a real clap down in this game. Not gonna walk away from this shit. Poor. Who's going? I'll let him do it, actually. Go ahead, Lenny. You go. I'll probably fuck it up. Hey. I believe in Lenny. Here he goes. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the bottom. Oh, oh, you're getting shot. It's nice of that other guy to wait and let you stab his friend for him. Yep. He's real, he's real gentleman like. It's alright, it's alright. That... Ow. Oh, oh <laughs> good work! Alright, it's way easier to rob the trains in this than it is in GTA. I'm just gonna point that out. It's because the trains don't stop them. I climbed this car slightly faster than you. I'm okay. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. I know, just stay calm. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Arthur. Here we go. Oh fuck! <laughs> that was fucking excellent. I'm proud of that conductor. All oh, right, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, it's Abe Lincoln. It's Abe. <laughs> no. You joke, but Abe was like a world-class wrestler, and he would have kicked your ass during this. <laughs> He's a very large man. Yeah. He would have wrestled you. Stop, Stop the train. The train. <laughs> yep. It's as easy as it is. Yeah, the trains just stop. They just stop right on yep. a dime. Yeah, right on a fucking dime. Shoot eight guys. Pull a lever. Boom. Train's dead. There goes his fucking hat! You're, you're a lot better at shooting hats than you are I'm shooting really hats. I'm really good at shooting hats. <laughs> All these bastards must be guarding something. Headshot. We need to talk. Yep, keep pushing on them. Keep pushing on them. I can push on them. Push them, man. There's like three guys shooting at you. Oh, well, that one's. There's like two guys shooting at you. <laughs> Why does everybody on this train have a gun? It's a gun train. <laughs> We're gonna sell these bullets back to Mexico. What's his hat? I mean, build a wall around it. Fucking you! You are really good at shooting the hats off. Aww, oh, I don't know if it was, I feel like it would have slow mode if it was a headshot. Ah, oh, okay, that one was a headshot. <laughs> that one was for sure. Go pick up your hat, yo, you're hatless. Oh, no, my hat. Get back there, get back. I don't know where I am. Where's the hat? That's a hat, I'll take this hat. Shit. Pick up that hat. That's actually a real shit. shit oh, right, we got a dead body now. Your All right, hat, sir. put the dead body back down. Sir, where's your hat? <laughs> I don't want you, I just want the hat. Can't take that hat. Can't take that hat. Boy, we got horses. Let's back and find the horses. See now why the old Driscolls brought so many boys up here for this. Arthur, get over here. You two are. Oh, they are friendly horses. Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. Cutsy. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. 
Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. Right, I was gonna say it was good, good, good dynamite. Oh, we're, we're wasting time here. Wasting time and ammo, Bill. <laughs> now, Dutch, whatever your name us, is. But you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now let's <laughs> use. Yeah. yeah, we did it. <laughs> it's on there. <laughs> Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Come on. Hello. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get See, I can respect that. that yeah. Dutch isn't a bad guy yet. Until I have to kill him in the last game. Even then, I don't know if he really was a bad guy. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, actually. You, like, nobody's any worse than John in the last game. But also, you are John. You know what you're there for. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. Now we ran inside. You're just going to stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Mm, Shut up. Me and Arthur did cigars. all the work. Yeah, kid like did cigars. good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on Do that. Do you track. like cigars? He's king. Oh, I'll give you that. <laughs> okay. Far better than cigarettes, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. That should have killed you. Cigars are for fun. Tastes like shit. I don't know how anybody does it. Hmm? Cigarettes taste like shit. I don't know how anybody does it. Yeah, I'm sure those are words that you can... Oh, yeah, Mr. Cornwall. I got to receive your payment of $2,000 for the initial phase exploration of the YPT of the Indian Conservation Memorial of the Greed Contract to Breed. The Cornwall and Kerosene Tower Leland Oil Development Company dated November 9, 1989. On receipt of these funds, we proceed to praise two, three, four, five project and present you with the daily red ticket. James Kitts, you did research for the Leland Oil Company. Dang old company. Keep looking. Uh, well, it's goddamn O'Driscoll's. Oh, wait, there's a place up here. Go faster. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur. Have you looked down the end there? There's cabinet. Uh, well, keep looking. I found something. There must oh, be something. Some. It's a metal box that was easily opened. How's it looking in there? And it's full of nothing. I swear, boys. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Everyone off the boat. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. So what do we do, Tyler? Do we kill him? Put him back on the train. Well, see, if that was John Marston, I'd put him back on the train. Make sure, make sure they get to where they're going. But I'm not John Marston this we time. We are not John Marston. I am not John Marston. Oh, we had a deal. You That's heard me. Dead. Wow, you managed to not kill... They want to laugh. That's the story. <laughs> or shoot randomly at him. <laughs> no, but you get it. He's got anything good. Sixty-six cents. Woohoo! We're rich. All right, boy. I can buy my diphtheria <laughs> immunization. <laughs> Get some of that penicillin I've been hearing so much about. 
<laughs> what the fuck, horse? He's a jumping one. He'll jump, <laughs> oh, no. jump over the rock. Oh no, we just gonna skip over the rock. He ran into a rock and then was over the rock. Oh, I can show you some clips of what this horse does. <laughs> Up the ups. Uh, Make the train go. There we go. Train started. Flip a switch. I don't know what oh, those conductors are. I think I'm going to jump onto the though. horse directly. You can totally do that, though. I know. That's why. I, I jumped off of a roof onto the horse. That's what I'm saying. That's some cool like, cowboy shit that a, you should be able to do. And you should do it. In the cutscene. It's cowboy, baby. <sighs> Fucking more Kid Rock. More Kid Rock. More Kid Rock. <laughs> Fucking fuck Kid Rock. He was good once. <laughs> once upon a time. When I was young and immature. Before I loved Kid Rock kid. became adult rock. Yeah. When I was when I was a kid, Kid Rock was acceptable. Then I grew up and was like. Oh no wait, you suck. Yeah, you're cancer, aren't you? Oh for Lord's sake. Getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. We got pockets in our money. I got a pocket, I got a pocket for money. Little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. Horseshoe We'll Overlook. be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything <laughs> else. not looking Arthur, good. Arthur, you're in that one. It's really, it's, he looks like fucking the guy from The Walking Dead. Yeah, kind of. But it's, it's, what's his name? He's also in Boonock Saints before The Walking Dead. I met him in real life. Yeah, no shit. Mm hmm. I went to this horror convention before he became. You guys all Irish at each other? No. He's not actually Irish, I don't think. <laughs> Is it really? Norman Reedus, that's his name. No, 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 yeah. I was at a horror movie convention, like, remember where but uh i don't even like horror movies that much but um, <laughs> i love horror movies i never met norman reedus and like, uh the boondock saints were there and it had sean patrick <laughs> flannery and had norman reedus but it was before the walking dead got big no shit yeah no yeah no reason he was he's socially awkward no yeah he's super is he's like, socially in every awkward. interview i've ever seen him in he's very much that yeah he didn't really say much yeah the uh no he did this interview where it was sean patrick flannery was wearing a lot of bronzer <laughs> a lot of bronzer <laughs> Maybe a button or two to uh, <laughs> unopen that would be a little inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> He's a real douche, apparently. No, Norman Reedus did this interview where he, it was like, if it was really the zombie apocalypse, what would you do? And he was like, probably go up on my roof, eat a bowl of cereal, and cry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he didn't, he didn't fucking say anything. I respect that. And I was like, hey, Norman Reedus, I'm like 14. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they were there as the Boondock Saints. Very cool. uh, nobody really gave a shit back then. Still, yeah. nobody really gives a shit about Sean Patrick Flannery. I'm sorry, Sean Patrick Sean Patrick Flannery. <laughs> Sean Patrick. The two actors we've shat on, Chris Evans and Sean Patrick Flannery. No, we never shat on Chris Evans. We Tamber's just very angry. <laughs> okay, Tamber, Tamber really hates Chris Evans. And only because he can't discern... <laughs> A bearded Chris, Chris Evans from the <laughs> regular Chris Evans. Incognito mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh god, god flabber damn it! This can't be the fucking game. I didn't pay sixty-five dollars for fucking honestly, Oregon Trail 2.0. Honestly, you might just want to pick it up after the tutorial yourself because, boy, it is a slow burn. Let me tell you, we're almost there. We're getting there. Just gotta put this wheel back on this wagon here. Oh my god, it's just Oregon Trail. <laughs> no one's died of dysentery yet. It's gonna happen though. <laughs> there we go with the wheel. We're doing it. We're cowboys. Look at me, cowboy. Press X to bash wheel. There we go. Totally necessary. Yep, yeah, I'm sure we got it now. Totally necessary to slow down the gameplay for that. Not quite. This is monkey wrench. What do you think? Did 
they wanted trouble. Oh my gosh, Tyler. We wouldn't have seen him. Ah, people. Ow. Poor bastards. Oh, okay. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Now, my people were pretty super East Coast, so it's not like. Not I thought you out. said East. Stay on this trail. The wound is healed. The White folk. Cut left. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hate you so much anymore. As an ambassador for the, all of the native people. Yes. I, I literally just specified that like we were like East Coast red men. Not West Coast. Well, yeah, it's got to be way Rogers. shittier for them because we've been... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Manifest Destiny and all that. Yeah. <laughs> we were right off the bag and dicked over. Like, Smallpox hit us hard. <laughs> well, we bounced back. Maybe it's not. <laughs> There's like a thousand. I'm of not gonna now. lie, they had us in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> but have you seen the casinos? Come on! How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. Uh, I fear I was perhaps trying to do 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 mosey on, mosey on down. Driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget. Maximum speed, this by the way. Oh, God. Are just be way to go. Like, I really don't like GTA as a game, but like, Ferraris are pretty dope. Just me, you mean Schmararis. Or whatever the fake version of it yeah, is. Yeah, they don't have real cars in there. Yeah. But I do usually... Like, it's not a good game, but I do like the doing random shit aspect of it, and also the, like, naming cars. Like, really funny. You probably like the online a lot. I really don't. That's the thing. Really? It's, I like this online. Well, it's, it's come a long way. No, because, like, they've added many things. The further it gets from, like, like this online I love, because it's going to be like, oh, it's just like, we're, we're all here. We're, we're rustling up a plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's role playing in this one. Yeah. GTA online is just like. I have not. Let's do random there's adventure shit. That's just no, crazy. Let's do crazy shit all the time. There this is, is like, no way in hell if I talk to any randoms for any reason in playing online that I'm not going to be putting on the Southern Draw. There's no way. <laughs> Every single person I call is like, hey, well now. <laughs> Where are you, <laughs> off your son? Get out of there, partner. Oh, <laughs> well, howdy. That's the, that's Hello the, to see, you. that's the thing. In this, you're actually like role playing online and it feels right. And GTA is just like, I'm just doing whatever I fucking feel like all the time, and this is really exciting. Yeah, I would. Well, that's the thing. Like, I, I, like, I liked, I liked GTA Five Online for what it could have been. I liked riding a bicycle around and jumping into people and knocking them over. That's really what I there's, loved about there's GTA. There's a lot of really cool. I like the idea that you're just running around with a gun in an open. World. Like that's cool. You're doing that here, but there's a lot more restrictions. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Which I think more. could work, and I'm very excited for that. Yeah. Provided it actually works. Because Rockstar doesn't sound, even Rockstar doesn't sound too confident about it. I read like a Twitter post or something like that about it. It was just like, well, you know, with a game of this magnitude, the size, you know, you're, no, like, you're bound to have a few bugs at launch. And I was like, oh boy, you better, you better strap it in. Literally, some of like, the best online experiences I've had is like with Red Dead. The first one, is, or Red Dead Redemption 1. I didn't even know it had it on. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. Like, like the first, like, there was this game I played where, like, I was, like, I was part of a posse. There was, like, two posses in the whole circle. Yeah, because there's apparently actual posses. I was just joking about that, but... Yeah, 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 you can do that. Yeah, you can rustle up posses. Apparently it announces it, too. Yeah, so, like, we robbed this bank and, like, rode to Mexico... And, like, with the whole way to Mexico, this other gang was, like, trying to rob us of what we robbed. And then we, end, like, we hold up in this castle, like, in Mexico for, like, like three hours. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you What we're saying before. is... Yeah. This yeah, game is probably better than what you're watching us play right now. Yeah. Oh, no, it definitely is. Oh, okay. It's just, uh, it's not gonna get fun until the world opens up a little. So, ride this caravan, man. Ride Fucking em, ride em, cowboy. We're back to 1996. What the fuck's the... That's the year that cowboys existed. No, 1996 <laughs> was the year that fucking Oregon Trail existed. Which oh, is what this yeah, feels whatever, like. yeah. 